Soil compaction is a major soil constraint in Western Australia, but also throughout the world under agricultural conditions. By definition, it means the rearrangement of solid soil particles like sands or clays to a more dense system. Translated, it means also that the space between the soil particles gets less and less, so the pore space will get limited. Here in a cropping situation in the mid-hill, normally soil compaction occurs on the subsurface because we do have, in this case, a duplex soil with a sandy topsoil, a clay subsoil, and these clays are prone to soil compaction. Usually saturated sands and non-structured clays are most prone for soil compaction. So the rule of thumb is avoid heavy traffic under saturated conditions, so in the wet winter when you have sandy soils. Avoid traffic when you have non-structured clay in the subsoil, mainly kaolinite, when it's moist because this is when it's most prone for compaction. Chemical cementation is a different process. It basically describes the cementation of the soil particles by iron oxides, by silica or carbonate into a very dense matrix when it dries out. Very often this occurs in lowland situations like this one where you have fluctuations of the groundwater table bringing the iron or the calcium closer to the surface where it re-precipitates and cements the soil particles to a very hard near surface material. Now using a pocket penetrometer basically gives us a reading of the physical force to overcome a certain soil resistance. In this case we use the penetrometer in the lower reading of the soil and we get a reading of 2.5 kilograms and another one closer here again 2.5 kilograms per cubic centimeter to overcome the resistance of this slightly moist subsoil. Doing the same test closer to the surface where the soil is cemented, this will give a very different reading. We can see that basically we cannot overcome the resistance of the surface soil or even two or three centimeters below the surface. Here we are at five kilograms per square centimeter, which is the maximum recording of this device the actual soil resistance will be much higher. Now this obviously is a very, very cemented soil. When we have a look at these little compartments from that soil, we can see that we have tiny little orange to brown speckles. These are our iron oxides that cemented these soil particles together. If you come here in the winter, this would be a very loose sand. There is hardly any soil resistance, but in the summer when it dries out and the iron oxide cement these particles, it becomes a really, really hard soil. It is really important to differentiate between the process of chemical cementation and physical compaction because the amelioration techniques to overcome this constraint are differently. Soil compaction can be combated by malbore plowing or soil inversion techniques to loosen it up. Chemical cementation is a process that might reoccur on an annual basis. So although you might plow areas that are affected by chemical cementation, most likely this process will reoccur the next year and you have to redo it on an annual basis.